Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve the system of equations by using the Gauss Jordan eliminations. Firstly, draw an omega matrix with all the coefficients written on the left. We have 3, 2, 5 for the variables x, 2, 4, 3 for the variables y, and 6, 3, 4 for the variables z. And the constant written on the right hand side, which is 24, 23, and 33. Now consider the gut line, which should first move from the left to the right. And the leftmost entries are 3, 2, 5. And we should first change the diagonal entry to 1, which means that we should change 3 to 1. In order to change 3 to 1, we should take its cell, which is row number 1 divided by 3. So we have row 1 and change to 1 over 3 of row 1. And the rest of the same row, we should follow exactly the same operation, which is divided by 3. 2 divided by 3 is 2 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. While 24 divided by 3 is 8. And for the rest of the entry, since nothing to do with this operation, we should copy exactly the same. So we have 2. 4, 3, 23, 5, 3, 4, and 33. After we have changed the diagonal entry 3 to 1, we can now move from top to bottom. When we move to the bottom, we have 2 and 5, which means that we should change them to 0. In order to make them become 0, we should minus exactly the same values, but then we should always bear in mind that we couldn't minus exactly the same row, which means that we cannot take row 2 minus row 2. So what can we do here is make use of a row 1. So if let's say originally we have value 2, in order to make it become 0, of course we need to minus 2. But row 1 is 1, so what we have to do here is take 2 times of row 1. So 2 minus 2 and now we 0. And this is the value that we are looking for. For the same idea, row 3, we should now take row 3 minus 5 times of row 1 in order for us to obtain 0. And for the rest of the entries, if nothing to do with this operation, then we should copy exactly the same. Since we are performing operation for only row 2 and 3, so which means that nothing to do with row 1, we should copy exactly the same. So we have 1, 2 over 3, 2 and 8. Now let's perform the stated operations for the respective row. Now we move to the second entry of row number 2 which is 4 and we should minus 2 times of the entry from row 1. We should refer to the same column which is 2 over 3. When we minus, we should obtain 8 over 3. Let's copy here 8 over 3. And for the third entry from row 2, we have 3. And we minus 2 times of row 1. So copy the same column, 2. When we minus, we should have minus 1. So copy exactly the same. And for the last entry of the second row, 23, we minus 2 times of 8. And this result in 7. So we copy 7 here. Now let's perform calculations for the third row. For the second entry, we have 3 minus 5 times of the first row. So the corresponding value 2 over 3. And this is equal to negative 1 over 3. So we write it here, negative 1 over 3. Next, we have 4. We minus 5 times of corresponding value 2. And this is equal to negative 6. So we have negative 6. And lastly, we have 33 minus 5 times of the corresponding value 8. And this is equal to negative 7. So we have negative 7 here. After completed top to bottom, we should now back to the first step, left to right. After the first column, we should now move to the second column. And we should change diagonal entry to 1. And this is the diagonal. So in order for us to change to 1, simply take this value, divide itself. Or in other words, we take row 2 and change to 3 over 8 times of row 2. And now we should obtain 0, 1, and negative 1 times 3 over 8. So negative 3 over 8. And 7 times 3 over 8, which is 21 over 8. Eight. And for the rest of the entries, nothing to do with this operation, so we should copy exactly the same. 
So we have 1, 2 over 3, 2, 8, 0, minus 1 over 3, minus 6, and minus 7. After we have changed the diagonal and 3 to 1, we should again back to top to bottom, which means at this time we should change 2 over 3 and negative 1 over 3 to 0. In order to make 2 over 3 become 0, which is from the first row, we should take row 1 itself and we minus 2 over 3 times of row 2, so that we have 0. While for the row 3, since this is negative, in order to offset a negative number, we should take positive. So which means that we should take row 3 plus 1 over 3 times of row 2, so that we have 0. Next, let's perform calculations for the rest of the entries based on the stated operations. For the values in the first column, basically we can simply copy and paste, since 0 will contribute no values to its original value. Next, we have 2. Based on the operation from the first row, we have to minus 2 over 3 times of the value from the second row, which is the corresponding value, negative 3 over 8, and this is equal to 9 over 4. So we write here 9 over 4. And for 8, we minus 2 over 3 based on the same operation, and we should now times 21 over 8, and the result is 25 over 4. So we write it here 25 over 4. For the second row, since no calculation needed, so we just have to copy paste. We have 1 minus 3 over 8, and lastly, 21 over 8. For the third row, we have minus 6. Use the operation plus 1 over 3, the corresponding value from the second row, which is negative 3 over 8. The result is minus 49 over 8. So we write it here, minus 49 over 8. Eight. Next, we have minus 7 and we plus 1 over 3, the corresponding value which is 21 over 8. The result also negative 49 over 8. So we write here negative 49 over 8. After top to bottom, we should again back to left to right. After second column, we should now move to the third column and change the diagonal entry to 1. So the diagonal is negative 49 over 8. So which means that the third row we should have negative, so negative itself, 8 over 49, row 3. So which means that the value we should have 0, 0, 1, and 1. And for the rest of the entry, since no calculation needed, we just have to copy all the values. We have 1, 0, 9 over 4, 25 over 4. Next row, we have 0, 1, negative 3 over 8, and 21 over 8. After changing the diagonal entry to 1, we can now move to top to bottom. We have two values to go. For the first row, simply take the first row and we minus 9 over 4 times of the third row. And for the second row, in order to obtain 0, since this is negative, which means that we should take positive 3 over 8 times of the third row. Let's perform calculations based on the stated operations. Since 0 will not contribute any values to its original values, which means that for the first and the second column, we can copy exactly the same. And for the last row, as we can see, no calculation involved. So also copy paste. And now let's calculate for the rest of the entries. We have 9 over 4 minus itself, which is 0. Next is 25 over 4. Based on the operation, we should minus 9 over 4 times the value from the third row, which is 1. And this will result in 4. So we write it here 4. Finally, for the second row, minus 3 over 8 plus itself result 0. And we have 21 over 8. We should plus 3 over 8, the value from the third row, which is 1, and this result in 3. So we write here 3. Since we have obtained identity matrix on the left hand side of this augmented matrix and record the position of the variables, we have firstly x followed by y followed by z. By comparing, which means that the solution for the system of equations is x is equal to 4, y equal to 3, and z equal to 1, and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.